Shalom. Let's begin this lesson by giving honor and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahweh is our Heavenly Father's name. And His only begotten Son, our King, our Redeemer, our Savior, Yahweh Shai. It's a late night edition of Three Third World War update. And we're going to get right into it. But again, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Kohala Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rukrakadash. Let's give double honors to our leaders, starting with our elder apostles, followed by the uh, the bishop, the elders from the great millstone that taught us this truth. And salutations to the Lord's elect, started with 144,000. The tabernacle of David, that's right, followed by the large multitude, men, women, children, whom our Lord is going to have mercy upon. This glorious gospel is for you. This is the good news. The good news. You never thought that indeed this captivity would be over. You thought you were supposed to remain black forever supposed to remain negro forever you're supposed to uh, remain so-called african-american forever you're supposed to remain so uh, latino forever native american forever no it was only temporary like the lord says he says we shall be discontinued from our heritage everything the lord said came to pass but here we are in the land of our captivities and he's about to guide us from all these nations and bless us with a new body. That's right. Put the law, statutes, and commandments in our hearts. We are literally looking at the end of this wicked kingdom that is run by the, uh, the Edomite. That's right. The modern day Romans, they are the one ruling this country, the elite of this society. And their kingdom is about to crash right in front of their eyes. When Yahweh Shai shows up with the angels, Okay, thousands and thousands and thousands of angels coming to get us home. They are about to take us home. Again, we say, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Kohalal Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Yahweh Let's open it with a precept. Again, Malachi chapter 4, verse 1. It says, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. And this is not like a regular oven that you use in your kitchen. No, this ancient, the ancient days, that's why we're talking about way, way back. That's why the same oven, the way the oven that they wanted to, they would have, no, the oven that they used for our 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 forefathers, you know, and, and, and Ananiah, uh, Michelle, and Hananiah, you know, no, let me please. I don't wanna. They are slave names. Our Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, in the book of Daniel. Okay, it's uh, it's uh, Azariah. Sorry, Azariah, uh, Mishael, and Hananiah. Am I pronouncing it right? Please bear with me. Let me bro. Let me go here. Let's do this. Let's go to the book of Daniel. <sighs> Daniel 1. That's right. Hananiah, Michelle, and Azariah. That's right. The oven that they put our forefathers in family. That's why this is what the Lord is referring to. All right. So now let's go there. It says here. It says, For behold, the day cometh. That's right. That's why Yahweh shall also said in the book of Luke 12 49. This place is literally going to be on fire. That shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, says the Lord Yahweh of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch, particularly America. That's why when it's all said and done, when the fire settle, the whole land is going to be a, a vast desert, occupied by what? The, uh, the wild beast, that's what is going to take over the land. Wild animals are going to take over America. That's what is coming. So this is where everything is leading to. It says here, Malachi 4.2. 
but unto you, eh, the elect, that fear my name, shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings. That's why that's what Yahweh Shah is bringing for his elect. He's bringing a whole bunch of goodies. A whole bunch of goodies. You know, he's going to change us. Because he said it in the book of Philippians. He says he's going to change our vile body to his glorious body. Okay, you can only imagine what his body looks like. He said we're going to be like him. You see, we're going to be like the king of kings, the lord of lords, the beginning and the ending. You see, that's what we are looking forward to. Yahweh Ratazah, we are among the numbers. But unto you that fear my name, shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings. And ye shall go forth and grow up as well, as calves of the store. And ye shall tread down the wicked. Ye shall eat them, so proclaim white men. Okay, this word is confirming the, the captivity that is coming for this nation, as particularly the self-proclaimed white man. Huh, he better enjoy his last hour here. He better enjoy whatever you got to do. Get it done here. Because the next world to come, man, you are in trouble, boy. He said, for they shall be as ashes under thy souls of your feet in the day that I shall do this, says the Lord, the hour of hosts. Let me repeat that again. Malachi 4.3. And ye shall tread down the wicked. For they shall be ashes, you hear that? Ashes under the soles of your, your feet in the day that I shall do this, says the Lord Yahweh of hosts. You can link this with what Obadiah 1 18 also tells you a thousand years of captivity, and Esau is going to be done away with. Self proclaimed white men, that's why there won't be no so called uh, uh, what is it called white man, that's why their biblical name is Edom. All right, let's read another version here. NLT says, On the day when I act, you will tread upon the wicked as if they were dust under your feet, says the Lord of heaven's armies. Yahweh. Hey? You can't make this up. This is all. We are looking forward to all this. We are looking forward to all this. Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 36. Family, listen to what the Lord is saying. You see, these prophecies are just jumping. Things are moving very, very quickly. You see, when the Lord says these plagues are not slacking, he wasn't lying. Listen to what? Listen to this. Second Ezra 16, 36. He says, Behold, the word of the Lord. Receive it. Believe not the gods of whom the Lord spoke. Family, these people, these nations, these leaders, family, we don't, don't even, whatever they are doing is the Lord that is directing their path. The Lord is controlling their mind. They are about to set each other on fire. There ain't going to be no new world order reason. No, family. They are, are, they, are, they are about to destroy each other in the midst of third world when Yahweh is going to show up and join the party. Okay? It says here, listen to this. Second, uh, verse 37. It says, Behold, the plagues draw a nigh and are not slack. That is what, before, family, when something happened, it takes about another two or three months and then something major happened. No, family, this is one after the other. It's not slacking. Because what? The Lord is about to judge this place. He said, Behold, the place draweth nigh and are not slack. And then hear what the Lord says in verse 38. And let's give it a few seconds. What is going on? It says here, As when a woman... With child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son, okay, with two or three hours of her birth, of her birth, great pains compass her womb. Which pains, when the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. That's right. Water breaks, baby coming out. Family, the woman wants this baby out. Family, it's just one thing leads to the other. This baby is coming now. Come, is she's pushing it out? Family, it's not. This is how the Lord is comparing what the plagues that are coming upon the earth. Listen to this. Even so, shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn and sorrows shall come upon it on every side. That is what is coming, beloved. That's what is coming. Something major happened this afternoon. It was reported by Hal Tenor. Let's pick it up from here first. It was updated at 7.28 p.m. this evening. 
Okay, today is what? Uh, June 7, 2024. New arms race. Biden signs new guidance for use using U.S. nuclear weapons. Family, the Bible tells us everything. Starting with our head, Apostle family, this particular war that is coming, uh, Isaiah 9, 5, this precept, this precept is coming out every day now. Isaiah 9, 5, because that's the time that we are in. We are in the prophetic family. The plagues are here. This is the time that Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai gets all the glory. You see, we are here to proclaim the power of what? Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Listen to this. This afternoon, President Joseph Biden has signed new guidelines on the conditions for the U.S. use of nuclear weapons. Listen to this carefully. This was announced by Special Assistant to the U.S. President and Senior Director for Arms Control at the National Security Council, Prene Vadi. The updated guide guidelines takes into account the realities of the new nuclear era. They emphasize the need to address the growth and diversity of China's nuclear arsenal, as well as the need to contain, listen to this, Russia, China, and North Korea simultaneously, he said. They're not going to contain those three superpowers. No. No, family, they can't. It's impossible. North Korea is not a superpower, but Russia, China, and plus North Korea and Iran, no. Because we know what the Bible says. Babylon shall be taken down. It says what? Babylon will fall to the meat. That's Isaiah 13. The Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, is not a man that shall lie. You see, everything that he says, he's going to do it. We just happen to be his mouthpiece. That's right. We just a vessel that the Lord is using. We have no clue what the, at the end of we are just speaking what the Lord asks us to speak. One Israel, you so called Negroes, Latinos, African Americans, that continue to trust in this broken system. We are warning you, the Lord Yahweh, through His only begotten Son, our King, our Redeemer Yahweh Shai, is about to set America on fire. That is what is coming. All this, all these nations, Ezekiel 38 is going to be fulfilled. Isaiah 34 is going to be fulfilled. Jeremiah 51, 50, uh, they're all going to be fulfilled. Babylon will fall. America will fall. This is it. It is the end of this kingdom. So wrap it around your head. Yes, right. Yeah, let, let that soak in. It is over. Your so-called lovely America, God loves America. No. The Musa, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai, and his son, they hate America with capital letters. That's why for what they've done to what? His people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, African, American, Native, American, Native, Indian. That's right. The Lord hates America. And the Lord is about to judge America and Israel. That's why. That's what is coming. And we're telling you, the Lord said we should not hold our peace. We're telling you before it happens. So we are warning you. Hey, notice they did this after 5 p.m. on a Friday. I am endeavoring to obtain the actual new guidelines test. <coughs> it says here, a new arms race. This was updated 720. It says a new arms race is now kicking off. U.S. is making changes to its nuclear weapons strategy with an emphasis on competition. U.S. sees the need to increase its nuclear arsenal. Let's listen to, let's read her, her tennis remarks. It says here, remember when the corrupt media and communist Democrats were saying Trump family, we don't care about this, Trump, uh, Biden, they all the same. You see, what we know is at the end of the day, family, the Lord is dealing with what? His men, the prophet. We know that these people think uh, 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 one particular party is going to make a difference. Oh, if it was the Republicans, we won't be a third world war. No, we're telling you. Because you go back here, let's go here. Because family, before it happens, we tell you of it, right? That's what the Lord does. You see, let's go here quickly. 
Let's go to the book of Revelation to tell you, to show you that the Lord said there will be three wars. Eh? It started with Revelation 8. The last verse, it tells us here. Eh? It says here, And I beheld and heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven, saying with a loud voice, Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's three wars. Three destruction. Three terrors. Because you go back, the, 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 the NLT says, Terror, terror, terror. That's right. That's what the Lord. And we know that First World War came and passed in 19, 1914 to 1918. That was the First World War. The Second World War, 1939 to 1945. That's when uh, Russia, again, the West trying to destroy Russia. And Russia defeated the Nazis. That's right. America just dropped the, uh, the, nuke, uh, dropped the atomic bomb in the last minute. Okay. Just to, to just to flex a muscle. That's why. Right. That's why right. blood is nothing in his sight. He dropped bombs on what Nagasaki and uh, your uh, Hiroshima, Japan, and that's the three wars. So it doesn't matter whether it is uh, what is it called Biden or Trump in power. Three World War War was that's right was given to uh, our beloved uh, uh, apostle uh, John in the island of Patmos. Before Yahweh Shai came, that's why he sent the angel. That's what Revelation is all about. To tell us the last days, what is going to be happening leading to the second coming of our king, our redeemer, Yahweh Shai. So yeah, it's so whether it is uh, Trump or whether it is Biden, whether it is whoever is in power, there will be three wars. Family, believe what is written in the Bible. Not a man. You see, the Lord is directing them. They are going to fight Third World War. Nobody's going to stop Third World War. But yeah, so, so yeah, so they're making other, they're making what? Changes to what? Their nuclear doctrine. Are they going to hit Russia first? Who knows? But we know that this war is going to be nuclear. Forget going to university, getting a... No, it is over for America. It is done. And that's what we're here to tell you through the spirit and power of our King, our Redeemer, our Shai. Now, all of a sudden now, do they know something that we don't know? Our Hautena was the one that reported this also. He broke this news. He says, anti-scaling riot fencing goes up around the White House. Why are they put, uh, putting... Uh, fencing around the White House. Are they about to do something? Who knows? Because we know what the Lord says. It says we are about to enter a time like no other. Jacob's trouble. Are they afraid about something that they are about to announce and that's going to cause the people to react? We don't know. But we have to bring the news out. We have to let you know something major is coming. You see, something major is coming. It's a woe to you eh, that desire the day of the Lord. You see? But here, let's go to uh, 2 Ezra 15 quickly. Mm -hmm. It says, that's what the Lord says. What? Behold, 2 Ezra 15, one said, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the word of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, says the Lord. These are the things that we're supposed to be re reporting on. Letting you know what the Lord is about to do. It's all prophecy. Yahweh Shai, the testimony of our King, the Redeemer of Israel, is the spirit of prophecy. Video below from last night shows work crews installing anti scaling riot fencing around the entire perimeter of the White House. Why are they doing it? What does this tell you? It tells most folks that they are either going to do something. Or announce something that they expect will cause riots. Family, we are not ignorant of Satan devices. You see, you can trust in this. Is a family. We hope we wake up tomorrow and they said, okay, everything is shut down. Eh? The money you can get access to your account. Family, we are praying because what in before in order to be delivered, we have to be in Jacob's trouble. We won the kingdom. We want this wicked place. We want the Lord to destroy this place like yesterday. It says, what might they be planning? Ukraine, Russia, a military draft, 
nuke first strikes. They don't, they don't do these type of thing unless they already know it's going to cause massive upheaval. Sneaks, he says. So yes, a fence is going around the whole perimeter of what? The White House. Why are they doing this right now? Let's continue. And it says here, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. What is what? The prophecy, the word. They are faithful and true. Family, the prophets saw this. Ezra saw this. When the, the Lord sent the angel um, Uriel to reveal to Ezra the things that are going to be taking place leading to the second coming of our King, our Redeemer. Family, it made them sick to their stomach. Daniel had the same experience. Yeah. Some of this vision that the Lord revealed to the prophets, it wasn't easy. Eh? It says here, fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Yes, the Lord says, what if some don't believe? Like Apostle Paul said in the Romans 3.3, 3, he said, what if some don't believe? So what? They said, oh, you guys are always talking about gloom and doom. Yeah, you don't have to believe it. But seeing is believing though. The Lord says, continue to warn them. Yeah, family, you just don't wake up one day and say, okay, I'm going to put a whole fence, a uh, uh, riot fencing around the perimeter of the White House. Think about it. You're supposed to be this superpower. America's supposed to what? That's right. Project this so-called, this might, right? An empire. What is why all of a sudden you putting a fence around the perimeter of the White House? Man, that shows a lot of weakness. You see, and the whole world can see it now. That is why, family, there's a multipolar development. But the multipolar, the Lord just is creating it just so that the Lord can destroy Babylon the Great. There's no, the moment America falls, that's the kingdom of heaven. Russia, China, the BRIC system, they are, India, no, they're all going into captivity. Every single one of them are going into captivity. There are Israelites among these nations, don't get me wrong. But yeah, majority of these nations, they're all going into captivity. That's what is coming for them. Okay, the only people that that's only the Israelites are going to escape this because that's who the kingdom of heaven is for. The Lord says, What the, the earth was created for our sake. Okay, the rest of the nations are what supposed to be, they are what they're going to be our slaves in the kingdom, and that's what is coming. Yeah, we don't care. Say, so Fear not the imaginations against thee, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. But here it says, Here the next verse says, What. For all the unfaithful eh, shall die in the unfaithfulness. What did the Lord says to, uh, what is it called? Uh, was it Matthew? No, Matthew. Uh, Thomas. He said, don't be faithless. Don't be faithless, man. You've seen enough to believe that, to believe, to, to believe that the Lord is with us. You say, don't be, says, well, that's what the Bible says, what well, the just shall well, live by faith. That's why here it remind you, he says, those that don't believe that our King Yahweh Shai was here, and he walked with us. He taught us in the synagogue. He went on the cross. He shed his blood for the children of Israel. The one though that the one that don't believe, they're going to eat the missiles. That's what the Bible also says. Why it says, "Man, blessed are those that haven't seen but yet believe." That is you, so-called Negro. That those that the elect haven't seen but yet believe. He says, "What for all the unfaithful." The Lord is saying, all the unfaithful, the ones that don't believe this, this testimony of our King, our Redeemer, Yahweh Shai. The Lord also says, well, bring them hither and slay them before me. They that don't want me to rule over them. The one that still want to, oh, I'm going to be voting for Trump. Oh, all the black, black, I think it was 50 cents that I was saying this, this week or I think today. It says, oh, black men will be voting for Trump. Look at this. Because what? They are, they've made in this world. They are of the world. We are not of this world. For here, Bible says in the book of Hebrews, it says, well, we have no continuous city, but what? We seek one to come. This so-called celebrities, all these Jake celebrities, they think this is it. They've made it. Oh, yeah, they want this kingdom to continue forever. They don't want, they don't want to see a Hawashai's kingdom. Eh? Because they've made it. No, the elect family, we hope you wake up tomorrow and this whole place is on fire. And then we're going to give honor and glory to our power, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahushai, by Hashem, Yahushai, Yeah, so the White House family, that's right. They put the fence around the White House, but let's move on. Okay, so let's bring out here. Look, look at this now. 
you know, I came across this. It's a NATO implemented uh, war news 24-7 is reporting this. Mm -hmm. This was why today. NATO implemented a plan to blockade Russia in the Baltic. Okay. Typhoon with SM-6 and Tomahawk along with 50 warships were deployed. They will hit Baltic fleet and Northern fleet and Kaliningrad. NATO mobilized what? 50 warships to the Baltic and deployed the Typhoon system with SM-6 and Tomahawk cruise missile targeting the Russian Baltic fleet, Kaliningrad and Northern fleet. Finally, this whole place is about to be turned uh, upside down. Right? NATO won this war. And again, like I said, through the spirit and power of our King, our Redeemer, Yahusha. This is what uh, someone tweeted. NATO Joint Force Command uh, on X. It says here, NATO Joint Force Command, Bronson, and eh? exercise, they call it exercise ball tops has kicked off in the Baltic region. 50 plus ships, 85, 85 plus aircraft, approximately 99,000 personnel eh? from 19 NATO allies are participating in the largest ball tops ever. Together, we demonstrated our NATO ability to defend the Baltic Sea against any threat. It's all against Russia. But family, we know what the Bible said. That's right. We know what the Bible says. At the end of the day, it's going to be Russia that's going to defeat the NATO and the West. And you see, it's beautiful to have this truth. You know what is actually going to happen before it happens. That's also a form of spiritual power. Because people can take the Bible, they can read it from Genesis to, uh, uh, what is it called, uh, Revelation and family. It's, they read it like a storybook. But the Lord revealed his word. That's why right, his mystery to uh, his prophet, like he says in the book of, let me get that, let me get that quickly. Let me go to the book of Amos to show you that that's right. We have the truth. The Lord revealed his mystery, I say Amos, right? Amos 3, 6. Eh? Amos 3 verse 6 He says the Lord revealed his mystery to us He says here Shall a trumpet be blown in the city No that's not it Oh sorry uh, Amos 3 7 Surely the Lord Yahweh power will do nothing But what he revealed his secret unto his servant The prophet That's why we can tell you Through the spirit and power of our king Our redeemer Yahweh Shai That yes Russia is going to take down America Yes because that's what it says here again. I continue to bring it out every lesson now. Because there's a time that we are living in. We don't care if you're tired of listening to this family. There are so many other videos out there that you can be watching. Okay. It says here. You see the title here. Revel Babylon. Which is America. Modern day America. Mystery Babylon. Babylon. America has a lot of code. A lot of name. Sometimes it's known as the spiritual Egypt, spiritual Sodom, Revelation 11. Hmm? Assyria, Bosra, that's why Mount Seir, all referring to America. And he said Babylon, that's America, will fall to the meat. That's modern day Russia. That's right. Ezekiel 38 also remind you. Russia is going to take down Israel. It's going to take down America and its allies. No, Russia is not going to be doing it on its own. That's why China is there to do what? to help defend Russia because they made a statement today. Is it China? Which one was it? I have it. He said, the, um, let's get the next article. So, yeah, this is what they are doing surrounding Russia. Mm? <coughs> yeah. This is all here because why? It's all about what? The money, the American dollar. It's all about defending the dollar, but it is over. It is over. These nations are dumping American dollar. Eh? And they don't want anything to do with the dollar. You see, the BRICS are going to form their own currency. And that's what is coming. You see, so America said, if we can rule, we're going to bend the whole house down. It says here, leading European analysts. Risk of immediate escalation. Moscow has the right to strike Western countries. Very unfortunate step that could lead to immediate global conflict between Russia and the West. It's a matter of when, family. That is the beauty about having this truth. Eh? It is a matter of when. Babylon will fall. And it's not just going to fall. It's going to be a hard fall. But let's go here. Let's go to. Let me go to. 
Lord, let me how I write that. Let's go to Isaiah 47 quickly. I haven't gone there in a while. It says, Come down. Eh? It said, Lament for Babylon. What's lament mean, family? It goes to what? That's right, cry. If I can highlight that. And eh? cry for Babylon. But Babylon, nobody's going to be crying for America. Mm -hmm. You see, nobody's going to be crying for them. They're going to say, Oh, yeah, you know, the money was good. We made the money. But man, this place is wicked. That's why, that's why Revelation 18 says that it says, well, Alas, alas, you know, and the nation standing far off saying, Alas, that Babylon, that great city, in one hour has his judgment come. One hour. When the hour shy comes, it's going to feel like it says one hour. I'm not sure what it's going to be like a tree. Uh, what is it called? Uh, uh, what is that movie? Uh, when the guy set up, he said, he, he looked at his watch, there's a Washington man. What's that movie, man? Shoot, man. Family is too late, man. My brain is... Uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, equalizer. Equalizer. That's right. Yahweh Shai is going to say that. I don't, I'm not saying that Yahweh Shai has, has a watch. I mean, he can tell the time. He's the king of kings, love. He doesn't need a watch to tell the time. You know what I mean? So, it's just one hour. It's, it's going to take him to level America. That's how long it's going to take you, shy. You can, from the east to the west coast, from the north to the south, America is going to be the lake of fire. And we're telling you, it says Isaiah 47 verse 1. It says, come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There's no throne. You hear that? There's no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Let's look up this here. No more throne. What is a throne, eh? Uh, Kese, right? The Hebrew word as well. Strong's H thirty six seventy eight. Kese. Kese. Uh huh. Kese. Kese. Seat. Second entry. Uh huh. Go ahead. Kese. 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 Uh huh. Seat of honor. You hear that? Seat of honor. Yeah, because America shows up. You know why every meeting going? America shows up. May everybody behave themselves because they are afraid. The nations were afraid. You see, because they know America has what? Military bases all over the world. So whatever America says, you have to uh, follow along or your country is going to be destroyed. That simple. You see, but the Lord is saying that there's no more what? Uh, there's no more throne. That's why seat of honor, throne, seat, stool, honor, royal, dignity, authority, power. The Lord says what? No, that is gone. You see here that it said, come down and sit in the dust. Dust means confusion. That's you coming from the top to the bottom. Eh? Oh, virgin daughter of Babylon, sit on the ground. There is no throne, no royalty, no more power, no more authority over anybody. Or it says, Oh, daughter of the Chaldea, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. It said, Take the millstones and grind meal. Uncover thy locks. Make bare the leg. Uncover thy tie. Pass over the river. Right now, the Lord is stripping you naked. When you're naked, that means what? Your sins are being what? Exposed. That's right. Your sins, all the wickedness that you've done all over the world. Right now, I was watching the Redacted yesterday. And they were talking about all the child, uh, what is it called, uh, trafficking that is going on in America. Family, right under our nose for all this elite. And children, family, they have warehouses of children that they are selling to this elite. Pure pedophilia is rampant across this American society, among the elite of this society, family. Yeah, Nothing is safe under this man rulership. So if you are here advocating and eh, praying for America, the Lord is going to destroy you. The Lord is tired of this wicked place. And eh? it says here, thy nakedness, your sins shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. Everybody is talking about you people, America. That's why the elite Yes, America is a laughing stock. Look at Biden yesterday. I watched a clip of him during the the so called uh, they say that the uh, what is that? There's a seller. Uh, it the what is it called? It was in France. I can't remember the name now. Please forgive me. It's very late. You know, it's exhausted. But you know what? We're gonna push through. And to what are you about? Shemi, I was shy for the inspiration. Regardless, thank the Lord. You are about Shemi, I was shy. We don't take this truth for for granted. But anyhow. 
the D Day celebration, I think the D Day is in France. Family, this man is finished. He is so he has no clue what he's he he doesn't even know where he is. Eh? They were standing and then he turned around. He wanted to sit down where there's no chair. Family, this man is done. America is a laughing story. See, that's what the Lord is doing. You see? They thought, what? Well, you think America is going to go on forever? No. The Lord, family, that's why, created America so that he can bring us here. The, both the, 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 the northern and the southern tribe to punish us. And now, and then what? And then send our king, our redeemer, Yahweh Shai, eh, to deliver us. You see, you see the balance of the Lord? That's why he's balanced. He can't continue to punish us forever. Eh? So salvation is coming. It said, thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame, thy shame shall be seen. Everybody is seeing American shame. Everybody is calling America. He said, you are the one that have turned the world upside down. You are the one that went to Afghanistan. Destroy that country. You destroy Iraq. You destroy Libya. You destroy Syria. You destroy Vietnam. All the, you did it. Everybody's calling you out. And now you want to go and do that. Too. Now look at what you just did to Ukraine. Eh? Everybody's calling you out. Victor Orban, the prime minister of Hungary, came out and said, no, we are not going to fight second. We're not going to gain. We're not going to. Yes, we are a member of NATO, but we're not going to fight Russia in Third World War. No, we did it. We were forced to join the First and the Second World War, and it destroyed our society. So this time, we are not going to do it. You see, family, that's the division that the Lord is bringing. That is why Revelation 17 is going to be fulfilled. Because it says what? The ten, ho the ten horns, the ten horn, sorry, the ten horn, which is what? European Union, NATO, they're going to hate the whore. They're going to hate the whore, which is America. Eh? And they're going to shoot missiles at her. Oh, yeah, that time is fast approaching. It says, it says here, Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. You hear what the Lord is saying? Oh, yeah, that's how Yahusha is. Yahusha is coming with thousands and thousands of angel family. I had a dream last night, man. You know, usually I don't really remember my dream. It was all over the place. But one thing that I remember, family, I was somewhere and there were people on top of a roof. There was, there was like snipers. People were being taken out. And then we were trying to find a way to, you know, it was, it was all over the place. Long story short, the family, I look up and it was like, that's like a, I'm talking about a band of chariots. Like, it's like, it was, it's like a, like a thousand. And then there was another thousand that came across that. And I, I, all I was doing was I was just looking up. I was looking up and trying to explain to people what, what they are. And then nobody really could understand what I was saying. But I, And then family. Uh, and then and then something happened and I woke up, okay? And then I woke up. I can never remember my dream, but I remember that particular part with the chariot, okay? It was like thousands of thousands. But I, I was, the, the thing is, I was the only one that could see them. You know, I was just trying to explain to them, but people couldn't see it, you know? But anyway, the family, the Lord, we're we, we almost out of here, man. We're almost out of here, you see? So, yes. So uh, let me read a bit here. It says here, it says here, very unfortunate step that could lead to immediate global conflict between Russia and the West. It is coming. You see, like I, like I said, it is coming. It's not, it's not, it is coming. It's not a matter of, oh, we did, oh, is Russia going to eventually stop and say, okay, listen, man, let's sit around the table. No. We, it is coming. War is coming. Third war, the last war leading to the second coming of our King, our Redeemer, Yahushai. By Hashem Yahushai. That's why we're comforting you through the spirit and power of our King, our Redeemer Yahushai, with this word. It said, it says here, as for our Redeemer, verse 4, as for our Redeemer, who is that? Yahweh Shai, the Lord of hosts. Eh? Yahweh is his name, the Holy One of Israel. It says, Sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called the Lady of Kingdoms. You hear that? The Lady, that word goes to a, a ruler, right? Let's look up the word Lady. Um, the, the Hebrew word is what? Um, let's get the Hebrew word. Strong's H, 1404. Gevereth. Gevereth, lady, queen. Gevereth. Mistress of seven. That's right, queen. The Lord says it's done for you. You can't push anybody around anymore, right? You can't. 
You can. It's over. It is done. We say, It says, I was wroth with my people. That's right, Israel. I have polluted my inheritance. That's right. And given them into thine hand. And what? Thou did show them no mercy. Upon the ancient hast thou heavy, thou very heavily laid thy yoke. Family, let's read this in the NLT. Sometimes the NLT hits a little different. It says here, for I was angry. You see that? For I was angry with my chosen people. Eh? Because, yeah, we went off. We went off, man. We followed these nations and their gods. Eh? We ate whatever our heart desire. Esau says, I'm giving you freedom and liberty. Eh? Turn your boys into girls, your girls into boys, and I'm going to accept you. You know what I mean? That's right. We've now become what the face of LGBTQ. R S T Y Z. That's right. That's just right. Jake now. Jake is the face of LGBTQ. Let that make sense. He said, For I was angry with my chosen people, and I punished them by letting them fall into your hands. But you, Babylon, show them no mercy. You oppress even the elderly. Yes, that's what you've done. And the Lord is about to judge you. Yes, America. This is what is coming for you. Okay, this word is coming for you. Oh, what the Lord is about to do to America, it's not going to, for me. <laughs> it says here, and thou said, I shall be a lady forever. This is your mindset because the Bible says in Psalm, it says what? Your, in, the, your inward thought is that your kingdom is going to go on forever, right? No, the Lord set all these kingdoms up. So that when the time comes, he remove one kingdom and set up another. He said, promotion come neither from the east, from the west. Eh? Psalm 75 also tells you, it's the Lord that promotes you. You see, this is his kingdom. That when the Lord humble Nebuchadnezzar, Daniel 4, eh? Daniel 4, uh, 17, eh? he, then he opened his mouth and says, yeah, guys, yeah, the, the Lord indeed, he's the one that's ruling in the kingdom of men, you know, after the Lord turned him into a beast. That's right. He humbled him and then he came out and said, hey, I said, you know what, guys, if finally, actually, you know what? Let me go there quickly. Yeah, after the Lord humbled him, you read the book of Daniel 4. And, um, let's go Daniel 4 quickly. The Lord humbles him. And, and then, yeah, he opened his mouth and said, guys, let me show you who actually is ruling. Yes, you know, I may be the king, but actually there's a power. More, the, 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 there's, a, there's an entity who is more, more powerful than me. I didn't build this kingdom. He gave it to me. You see, that's what Esau is about to find out. Come on, what is going on here? You know what, let's do this. Let me go back to my app here. Let's go to, oh, Daniel, I'm already in Daniel. Daniel 1, let's go to Daniel 4 quickly. Yeah, Daniel 4, 17, straight to the point, okay? It says here, listen to what, but after the Lord home, he said, this matter, listen to this. This matter is by the decree of the watches and the demand by the word of the holy one to the intent that the living this is after the lord eh, turning him to a beast eh? you see he says here by the intent that the living the living may know that the most high yahweh ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will and set it up over it the basis of men that's what the lord just said that's right the lowliest of people. You read it said for this, this, for this, this is the NLT. Daniel 4 17. For this has been decreed by the messengers. It is commanded by the Holy One, so that everyone may know that the Most High Yahweh rules over the kingdoms, okay, of the world. He gives them to anyone he chooses, even to the lowliest of people. Are you listening to this? So don't get too proud. Don't ever, ever get too proud and say, oh, look look at me. Look at what I built. That's what Esau is about to find out. When they lose America, the elite, they're going to say, oh, shoot. So I guess we were not in control after all. That's what is coming. The Lord's name is going to be elevated to a whole different level. The same way the Lord humbled, uh, what is it called? Uh, um, um, what is his name? Uh, uh, Pharaoh. Before we left Egypt, that's right. The Lord sends Moses to what? Uh, to Pharaoh. I've told that many, that story. Yeah, we know that story. I'm no, I'm not. We know that story. So let's move on, family. You see, the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart. But listen to this, though. We know that what uh, Erdogan is what uh, a member of NATO. But Erdogan is playing both sides. Putin said, "Buddy, you got to make a choice. 
Okay, but we know that Ezekiel 38, eventually Erdogan is going to leave NATO. The pressure is on. Listen to this. What news, what news is reporting? It's a double warning to Erdogan from the Russian embassy in Ankara. Secret services are pressuring and threatening. New double intervention after Putin's warning to Erdogan. Putin reference to the Turkish policy of balancing dangerously between the two boats, east and west, continue to preoccupy the news in Turkey and Russia. With two posts on Twitter, the Russian embassy in Ankara comments sharply on Turkey's economic relation with the Western countries. And the Russian embassy in Ankara posted a statement of Russian President Vladimir Putin yesterday, Wednesday, in St. Petersburg, in which he drew attention to an ominous growing independence of Turkey on Western funds and the possibility that this will have a negative impact on the economic relations with Russia. You see... Yeah, because Turkey just made an announcement this week that they are joining the BRICS. So Russia said, okay, what are you doing? Why why you still still have one leg in and one leg out? You know, make up your mind. You see, make up your mind. But we know that according to Bible prophecy, Ezekiel 38, Turkey, family, we are living in a beautiful time. Turkey is going to, Turkey has the second, uh, I think the, the second, the, the second, military, I said, the, the, no, the, they have the, uh, I think, no, what's the word I'm looking for? Family, please bear with me. It is freaking late. My brain is fried. Um, they have the, the second most powerful military in NATO. Okay. It said they have the second most powerful military behind America in the NATO alliance. So if Turkey leaves, family, you think NATO is weak now, it's going to even be worse for them. But Turkey is going to leave. And Turkey is going to leave and join Russia. Okay? Turkey is going to leave and join Russia. This was in English, but I don't know why this one, this particular one didn't translate. I was going to read it to you. Eh? Speaking to journalists on the sidelines of the St. Petersburg Economic Forum, the Russian president priest uh, Tayyip Erdogan stands on the Gaza issue while referring to Russia's Turkey Energy Corporation. Also, Vladimir Putin did not hide his reservations about the financing of the Turkish economy by Western funds and at the same time informed the Turkish president that Ukraine, with which Turkey cooperates in certain sectors, is trying to strike the pipeline that transport natural gas in Turkey. You see, so it's like, what are you doing? You know, make up your mind already. But we know that according to Bible prophecy, Turkey is going to join Russia. And yes, that battle between the East and West family is going to be epic. And that's what we are waiting for. But listen to this now. Russia announced from the U.S. of the United Nations, the ultimatum to NATO. You see, the French are talking about the development of nuclear missiles in Libya, Cuba, and Venezuela aimed at Florida. Okay, French and U.S. concern over the movement of the K-561 Kazan submarine, which is what? Right now patrolling the, uh, the west coast of the uh, United States. All right. It said Russia convenes the United Nations Security Council on June 14 to deliver an ultimatum to NATO. So finally, they're going to make their case in front of the United Nations member countries and to announce the consequences for NATO states of the use of Western weapons against targets in, in the Russia hinterland. A while ago, the president of Russia repeated that Moscow reserved the right to give weapons to enemy countries of the West. Russia deserved the right to supply long-range weapons, weapons to some countries in response to arms supplies to Ukraine. Vladimir Putin told a plenary, a plenary session of the St. Petersburg International Economic Forum. Okay, but here he says here, Putin wants Russia could provide long. I just read that, but something that China also said this today. Do I, do I have that? Okay, so Russia will call a United Nations Security Council meeting on June 14 on threats to international peace and security caused by the green light of Western states to Kiev to use Western supply weapons against territory of Russian Federation. Biden came out yesterday eh, and openly said, yeah, we give the go ahead. Family, that's the declaration of war. You see, that's the declaration of war. But we know that these things have to happen, right? And this should, this should do that. I mean, this should put joy in your heart because you know that your king is coming. Yahweh Shah is coming. 
Will Russia hand over nuclear weapons to NATO and the U.S. enemy? Great concern has been caused in the U.S. and France by Putin's statement about exporting nuclear weapons, which coincide with the development, sorry, deployment of the Yasen M-class nuclear submarine and other ships to Cuba. Oh yeah, you see, things are picking up. And we say, Brakata Yehawa by Hashem The Lord is just spoiling us in these last days, man. The prophecies, family, we can't keep up. We can't keep up with the prophecies. There's one article that says China will join in. Oh, see, this is another one. Anger, this is a both NATO member, both European Union member. Listen to this. Eh? M. Uh, Salvini to E. Macron. If he wants, let him go to fight in Ukraine himself. This is Macron on the left. But here, anger declares Paris are the disparaging as characterized by French sources. Report of the Italian Deputy Prime Minister M. Salvino against the French President E. Macron. Salvino, on the occasion of his war cry, sorry, this is coming from Pro News, by the way. Okay, it says here, M. Salvini, on the occasion of why his war cries, paradox, because France has won a war alone since the time of Louis the 14th invited the French president. If he wants war, he should put on a helmet and go to the front and to stop breaking the Italians. You see, this is what is happening. You see in the division already between NATO and what? That's why NATO and its allies and European Union. And that's why there's no cohesion. That's why the Howard Shai told us, but it says a kingdom divided cannot stand. Most of them don't want war with Russia. So what is that going to happen? What's going to happen? Eventually, they're going to say, okay, well, if we, nobody wants to fight against Russia, we must well uh, maybe take, take it on the person who is forcing us to go fight Russia. And that is America. That would fulfill what? Revelation 17. Because Revelation 17, it says here, I quoted it, I must well get it. Get it. Revelation 17, we're going to go here. It says here, you see here, the doom of Babylon. Doom is not a good word. And you go by, let's look up the definition of doom. No, 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 I just want definition. Definition of doom is what? Death, destruction, some other terrible fate. That's what is coming for America. It's a destruction, downfall. So it's not just going to be rush. It's going to be other European nations finally turning their missiles on the whole, which is America. Eh? Where was that? Let me see if I can go back there. Uh, let's go to Revelation. Sorry. Let's go to the book of Revelation. Revelation 17. It says the title it said the doom of Babylon, but we're gonna jump right here. Uh, victory for the Lamb. Okay. It says here, picked up verse 15, and he says unto me, The waters which thou sowest, where the horse sitteth, are peoples and multitude and nations and tongues, referring to America. Right? You see? Uh -huh. Because we know the America family, you can find any tongue under the sun living in America. All these nations eh, across the world, they all come to America. Different languages. Eh? It says here, verse 16, and the 10 horns, which is what? The European Union. It originally, it was 10. The original a Roman vassal state was 10. The family now, I think the, what? the European Union, I think it's over 29 members right now. Let's check that out quickly. How many members? How many, how many members do we have in the European Union? 27 countries, okay? 27 countries right now. All right, that's, how, that's what we have right now. What was, what's the Bible now? Let me go back. Oh my goodness, what happened to Revelation? Let's be, go back there again. So I think I didn't open Revelation 17 again. So Revelation 17. It says, and the 10 horns, eh? Which is what? More than the European Union, which thou sowest upon the beast. Because the beast is what? The whole system. Eh? They are military branch, which is NATO. They are what? The, the finance from what? UK, United Kingdom, London. 
and then you have what the uh, what is it called uh, uh, their religion branch which come from Rome and that whole system the two party system that's why that's the beast system who control the beast that's America Europe is just a vassal state for America but the Lord is saying here that what he says and the ten horns eh Thou that sorry, and the ten horns, which is what the European Union, which thou sowest upon the beast, the beast is uh, the system, and eh? eh? these shall hate the whore. The whore is America controlling the entire system and shall make her desolate. You see, so the horn, which is the which shall make what America desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. Why is that? Let's find out in verse 17. For the most high Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai have put it in their heart. That word heart goes into what? Your mind. Love. The Hebrew word for heart is what? Love meaning your mind. You see, so the Lord put it in their mind. They're going to hate the whole. Eventually, that time is coming. He said, put it in their heart to fulfill his will and to agree and give their kingdom unto the peace. Unto the words of our power shall be fulfilled. You see that? This whole thing that we call life is just a movie that we're all playing in our part. Everybody's playing their part in this movie, including the people that you're seeing on the screen here. And these are what? Your future. If they are not Israelite, these are your future slaves. That's what is coming. He said, give the kingdom unto the beast, unto the words of the power shall be fulfilled. And the woman, the woman, eh? right now, family, she is trying her best because she feel like, you know what, though? She doesn't, she doesn't have it anymore. You know what I mean? She said, okay, should I get the, the face, face lift or should I get the Botox? Should I get the, you know what, though? Uh, the BBL? You know what I mean? Let me have, yeah, family, she tried all that. And that, like, you know what the saying goes, you cannot put, you, know, you, you see, when even you put a lipstick on a pig, it's still a pig. You see, that's America. Nobody wants, yeah, she's loud, obnoxious. Nobody wants to date her anymore. Family, ugly as hell. Eh? Stink. You know what I mean? And the nation said, no, no, enough is enough. Now look at Russia. Eh? The new chick in the block. Family, every man wants a piece of her. And he says here, and the woman which thou sowest is the great city which reigned over the kings of the earth. Who reigns over the kings of the earth? If you're honest with yourself, family, you say, yeah, it is America. And how does he do that? Through his her money, the dollar, her military. That's right. You go against her, guess what? Your country is going to be reduced to rubble. That's what Russia, they're trying to do to Russia, but no, they can't because Russia is too powerful and Russia has allies that are ready to go to war with her. So yes, the end of this kingdom is fast approaching. And family, do I, did I forget anything? There was something that I wanted to share with you, man. There's an article that says, Man, Macron building coalition to send troops into Ukraine. Oh, yeah, yeah, family. I'm sorry. The French president has claimed that several allies have already agreed to deploy military trainers in the former Soviet Republic. Oh, yeah. They all, they all, yes, that's right. It's almost like everybody's on a suicide watch. They all going, they, they all committing suicide at the same time. Because why? It is the Lord that have hardened their heart to fulfill his will. Yahweh yeah, Bashem Yahushai name is going to be glorified it's going to be lifted up high man beloved i will leave it there i hope you were edified yes the kingdom is fast approaching rejoice 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 boast in the name of our power yahweh bashem yahushai and let's give let's give an amazing an amazing welcome to our king our redeemer yahushai man you see let's continue to proclaim this name on the rooftop and eh? Welcome the king, man. You know, you see, by doing this word, pushing this word. Okay, the king is coming, man. Yahweh Shah is coming. Our best friend is coming. So, beloved, I will leave it there. All praises, honor, and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakudash, man. We have to give him a fitting uh, welcome, man. That, you know, a, a king like him deserve. All right? So, beloved, I will leave it there. Again, Barakata Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Kakodash. I hope you are edified. Shalom.